Welcome sa sipnayan.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on decimals. No? This is our ninth video sa, sa ating series and this is the third video on division. No? So, natapos na natin yung addition, yung subtraction, tsaka yung multiplication. Uh, Nag-start na tayo ng division pero uh, yung mga previous videos natin, ang kinover natin doon ay uh, division kung saan ang kanilang divisor ay whole numbers. So, paano naman pag Pag uh, hindi whole numbers, for example, what is uh, 12 divided by 2.4, di ba? So, 12 divided by 2.4. No? So, sabi natin, yung sa mga previous examples, puro doon, whole numbers. No? So, paano natin gagawin whole number to? No? Ang gagawin natin is to multiply by 10 no? para maging 24 siya. So, ano mangyayari nung nasa loob? Bumultiply din natin siya by 10. Bakit? Kasi pag nag-12 over 2.4, if you write it as a, as a fraction, no? uh, 12 divided by 2.4 is the same as 12 over 2.4, di ba? Pwede natin siyang isulat as fraction. At nag-multiply tayo ng 10, nag-multiply tayo ng 10 dito, dapat mag-multiply din tayo ng 10 sa taas, no? And in effect, no, nagmumultiply lang tayo ng 10 over 10, which is actually 1. So, hindi natin binabago yung value nung, nung uh, fraction pag pareho yung minimultiply natin sa taas at sa baba. So, pwede na yan magiging 24 over, at magiging 120 divided by 24 na siya. Diba? Uh, from, from here. So, nagmultiply tayo ng 10, nagmultiply tayo ng 10. It becomes 120 divided by 24. So, anong sagot dyan? 120 divided by 24 is 5, no? So, you can check. You can check with your calculator or you can check manually. Okay, number 2, we have uh, what is uh, 54 divided by 1.8. So, ganun din, no? 54 divided by 1.8. So, dalawang, uh, isang decimal place na nang i-move natin. Ba, pag multiply natin by 10, so magiging 18 yung ating divisor. Ito magta-times 10 tayo sa magiging 540 siya. So, ang sagot, of course, you can divide this manually. What is 18 divided by, uh, what is 54 divided by 18? This is 3. 3 times 18, 18 is 54. Then, uh, we bring down 0 and then 0 0 times 18 is 0 this is uh, we subtract and this is also 0 yun na tayo check dito no? 5 times 24 is 120 this becomes 0 sakto na kasi to. okay number 3 we have uh, 91 divided by 2.6 so ganun din Sulat na rin natin, similar to this one. 91 divided by 2.6. So, 91 divided by 2.6. Magiging 26. Tapos ito magiging 910. Ilang 26 sa 91? Hmm. Yan nga ba? Tatlo, di ba? Tingnan natin sa tatlo. 3 times 6 is 18, carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, 7. We subtract and then... Pag nag-78, pag nag-26 ka pa, sobra na, 104 na siya. So, tama lang yung tatlo. 3 times 26 is 78, and then we subtract. 11 minus 8 is 3, then magiging 8 na to. 8 minus 7 is 1. Bring down 0. 130 divided by 26. I think it's 5 kasi magiging 30 ito, di ba? So, this is 5. 5 times 26 is 130. So, the correct answer is 35, no? Ito ang sagot natin dito 5. Ito ang sagot natin dito 30. Okay? So, although na decimal yung ating mga divisors, ang sagot natin ay whole numbers, no? Okay, let's have the last example for this video. Number 4, we have uh, 5.76. Divided by 3.4 or 
So, meron tayong uh, decimal times 10 natin to para maging whole number. So, magiging 32. At ito naman, magiging times 10 natin. Isa lang, di ba? So, 57.6. Okay? So, kung napansin nyo dito, naubos yung ano nyo, no? wala tayong decimal dito sa lahat ng given na to kahit after nung nag-times tayo ng 10, no? Kahit nag-multiply tayo ng 10 para sa dividend and divisor, wala tayong uh, wala tayong decimal points or decimal numbers. Dito meron tayo, no? Meron tayong natirang isa. Pero pwede pa rin tayo mag-divide dyan, no? So, tignan natin. Of course, tignan mo natin yung 57. Divisible ba siya sa by 32? Pwede, no? Pwede. May, may remainder, pero pwede. I think that's 1 because pag 32, dalawa at 64 na siya. So, this is 32. Of course, magdalagay ulit tayo ng decimal point. O, katapat nito, no? So, 32. What well, This is uh, 5. This is 2, 256. Okay, ilang 256 sa 32? Hmm. 25 divided by 3. 8, no? Mga 8. O, malamang 8. No? So, 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry 1. Okay, subtract tayo dito, no? Lagi ko nakakalimutan yung subtraction, but of course, you have to put it there. And then, 8 times 3 is 24, and 25. And then, you subtract. And this is 0. So, ang sagot natin dito is 1.8. So, nakikita yung idea, no? Basically, you just have to uh, make the divisor a whole number, no? To convert the divisor to a whole number by multiplying powers of 10. Tapos, minsan, may makikita kayo, wala nang decimal yun nandito, yung dividend natin. Pero may mga pagkakataon na merong uh, decimal, no? Okay, so... Of course, you can check no, by uh, multiplying the quotient and the divisor kung ito yung magiging sagot niya. No? You can use your calculator, calculator for, ano, for checking the answer. No? Okay, maraming salamat. I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan dito sa ating video na to. Meron pa tayong, ano, no? meron pa tayong isa pa sigurong example then uh, bago tayo mag-proceed sa other topics. This is the ninth video. Uh, meron pa tayong isang example more on uh, division of uh, decimal numbers. Maraming salamat. Uh, gusto ko kayong imbitahan sa sipnayan.com. Nandiyan yung ating mga videos. Naka, naka, ano, Nakalink yan dito sa YouTube. And uh, makikita nyo dyan ang yung mga list natin na sumusunod. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.